Zord Rider Transformers reviews and toy related chat Zord Rider Zord Rider Hello everyone, Zord Rider here and welcome to a trilogy of videos. Um, it's not going to be as good as Star Wars, don't worry. Um, I apologise about that in advance, but it is going to be about wars. It's going to be about Beast Wars. Now, um, those of you who follow my channel know that I'm not a fan of Beast Wars. And those of you uh, who were at my panel at TFN, uh, when asked the question, what's my most trans uh, Transformers controversial opinion uh, i replied with beast wars is shit um so um over the this trilogy of videos i'm gonna try and change my mind now why do i dislike beast wars so much um i think it's simple as an adult i've tried to get into it and even though there are some really interesting characters which i'll get into at the moment uh, in a moment, sorry. Um, unfortunately, the animation is too dated for me to get into. Um, it is painful to watch, in my opinion. It hasn't aged well. Um, the other main reason why I dislike Beast Wars that much is simply because I think it marked the end of my chapter of Childhood Transformers. So being born in 84, I had a good six years um, of, well, I first time my first one when I was about three or four, I think. So I had this good couple of years of, uh, of, of going to the shops and getting the classics lines and buying all these toys off the shelves. And even for a few years into the early 90s, a lot of the Generation stuff was still on the shelves. But what Beast Wars marked for me was the end of Generation 1, the end of the cartoon that I loved. I've just got over Optimus Prime dying and coming back and all that kind of stuff and suddenly he's replaced by a gorilla. And that didn't sit well with me. Um, and that's that's probably the two main reasons why, as an adult, the cartoon is too dated. As a child, it marked the end of a thing that I really loved being in, in, in stores and new releases. Um, and... What I wanted to try and do with this is I, I'm, I'm accepting the fact that I don't like the show. I don't like the show. But there are toys that I have bought that I've really enjoyed that are characters that don't appear in the show. Or I haven't really got an association to the toy line. For example, I bought recently oh, this guy, Energon Devastator. Doesn't look like G1 Devastator. But I've had a lot of fun playing with him. He is a fun toy, even though I don't have any association with the aesthetic. Uh, yes, I have with the character, but this to me isn't devastating. He's not G1, and I, fortunately, I'm sorry everyone, I'm a G1er. I'm a big fan of G1 Transformers Seasons 1 to 3. So, what I wanted to try and do is to try and see if I can appreciate the toys. Not the series, but the toys. And I wanted to have three categories, which is why we're having three videos. So those three categories are going to be a character that I actually like from Beast Wars. Um, a toy of that. A character or toy that I have no idea who he is. And a character or a toy that I like the character, but I really dislike what Beast Wars did with him. Um, so, today... We're going to start off with a character that I like. So what I've been doing, I have watched some episodes of Beast Wars. And one of the episodes I did enjoy, and it's probably because it had G1 in it, was when a character called Waspinator was taken over by the Ghost of Starscream. And that was, there was a couple of figures that I was really tempted of buying because I like the, the characters. There was Tarantulas, I like him because of the Wrecker series, but actually I thought I don't like him because of Beast Wars, if that makes sense. I like Dinobot, and I started to think, well, why do I like Dinobot? The character is actually quite cool in the few episodes of Beast Wars I've watched. But recently, I think the reason why I like him the most is I think the Masterpiece figure looks good. Waspinator, on the other hand, I have an opinion from the real show. So, what I then decided to do is I'm going to pick up a Waspinator figure. And there is a Generation one, so I already own the animated one. Um, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to have a true feel of Beast Wars. And 
The only way I can do that is to buy the original toy or to experience the original toy. So what I did, I've got me an original Beast Wars Wasp Um But before I get into the figure, he did come with some instructions. And it's interesting because Beast Wars to me, in my head, in my eight-year-old Richard self, Beast Wars is still new. It's still something that's that's fresh and different from G1. G1 is the old stuff. Beast Wars is the old stuff. But looking at this, these instructions, imagine we actually realise, you know what, this thing is 20 plus years old in its own right now. These things are collectors, and I know that sounds silly because it's obvious when these things were released. But seeing the instructions, seeing the photographs on the back of the packet, because I wanted to try and get one. I did want to try and get one sealed, but they cost too much. But this one had the packaging, even though it's damaged on the front, of course. Didn't have his missile. But I thought, you know what, this is the closest thing to buying a sealed experience I've got because I've got the back of the card. And let's talk about the toy experience so far, I've had a lot of fun just looking at the back of this card and going, ah, oh, actually, you know what? Cheetor actually looks quite a cool figure. Um, Dinobot looks a pretty cool figure. Um, Rat Trap looks awful, but it, it's okay. They are interesting. I mean, Wolf Fang here, pretty cool. So that has already ignited kind of a nostalgic flair I mean, this is 1996 so these come out what god 12 years after g1 so this is this is i actually thought they'd come out sooner than this to be honest with you maybe i'm wrong but that does does really show why these ended my toy collecting so in in 96 I, I would have been 12 um but this already is a is, is spark nostalgic feelings it looks like the pictures that were in the argos catalog um Quite cool. Quite impressed so far. Am I converted yet? No, it's a piece of card. But um, let's have a look at the figure. Now, one thing I will say about this figure, it's got a bit of weight on it. It's robust. It's The ball joints are tight after, what, how many years now? 20-odd years? It's incredibly in good condition. Now, that might just be the fact that this toy was owned by someone who really cared about it. But saying that, the ball joints are tight, it's well made, it's thick plastic, it's big. I mean, look at this compared to, I don't know, a uh, Power of the Primes figure. It's, it's weightier, it's bigger, it's really well built, really, really well built. Um... What do I think about the design? And my biggest problem with Beast Wars, my biggest problem is I don't like the, the true animal aesthetic. I like the... If this was a robotic wasp or like the Dinobots or like Mind Wipe in G1, then I would have been more comfortable with it. But I don't like the fact that they actually turn into real looking animals. Um, but that was the difference between this show and G1. So let, let's, let's put that to one side. It's well built. It's well designed. It's it, it's stable after twenty odd years, and you know what? It's a good alt mode. It is a good alt mode. It's trying to be a wasp. It is a wasp. So alt mode wise, really, I can't fault this thing. So I'm going to attempt to transform this thing, and I've only done it once. Um, so you pull out the weapon, and I like that idea. Parts forming, but you know what? That's not. That's not criticise it, you pull the wings up a little bit, you pull the arms out and flip the insect arms back. And I'm really, as I said about the build quality of this thing, it is really, really good. You flip the hips up, you rotate these legs around and down to make the robot mode legs. And then what you do is you separate these two pieces, the, the animal head, and you fold these down. And then of course you put the wasp blaster in his hand. And there we have Waspinator 
in its robot mode. Um, so, one thing that I dislike about this figure is the head sculpt. Um, and the reason why is quite interesting. The reason why is because it doesn't look like the show. Um, which is interesting because I don't like the show. Um, but in my head of Cartoon G1 accuracy, that's bothering me. And I don't know why. It's not a million miles away from the the show accuracy. But it is bothering me. Um, let's put the head to one side a moment because there's something interesting about it. So... I like the chest. I like how it opens up. I think the transformation is simple. That's a must for me. I like simple transformations that are effective, and this is absolutely that. Uh, your head can do a full 360. The wings can move backwards and forwards on ball pegs. Arms could do a full 360 if it weren't for those wings. Uh, you get a bend at the elbow more than 90 degrees. No wrist swivel or articulation or anything like that. And these insect parts do move backwards and forwards. There's no hip swivel. Legs can kind of go back at an angle because of his wasp bum. And can bend at the knee only fractionally because of this part of the leg. But you do get a swivel on there on the ball joints. He's a good toy. He's a nice toy. He, I've had a lot of fun with him. One thing I will say noticing this toy and playing with it more and more is that this figure really is the foundations for some of the generation lines with articulation, the ball joints, the hinges. It is so much more well articulated than the Generation 1 and Generation 2 figures that we'd had previously. So I think this, the Beast Wars line, or at least you can tell by the engineering point of view, was really the foundation for for a lot of the generation stuff with the engineering. Obviously, things have come a long way, but you can really see where the evolution started. I, I was tempted to open this straight out the box and get an initial uh, out the package and get an initial opinion, but I'm happy I didn't now because playing with him has actually made me really really enjoy it. Um, but let's talk about that head. Let's not worry about the head because. Little waspin out of here, and I did know that comes with two heads. And what you do is you open up this section here and this chest section, flip his little noggin around, put him back in place, and now he has a more robotic looking head. I'll try and get a bit of light on it. A more robotic, traditional, almost G1 Transformer looking head. And I love it. I really love it. It's it's so it's such a surprise. And even if I only like one Beast Wars figure because of this video series now, I'm so happy I picked Waspinator. It's so much fun, it's so simple, it's not complicated, it's not OTT. It's not filled with gimmicks really. Yeah, we would have had a firing missile and all that kind of stuff. It's just a well-built Transformer. It's a well-built toy. And I don't think I ever will be converted on the series. Don't think I ever will be. But could I be converted on the toys? Absolutely. And you know what? Me as a Transformers collector now, or just a Transformers fan, who's realised you don't need to collect an entire series to enjoy a toy on its own, may actually think, maybe I'll pick up a few Beast Wars figures, because these things are really, really good toys. Um, especially with that robot mad head. I love that robot mad head. It's, it's brilliant. It's... It's a lovely, lovely figure. Um, so, at the moment, um, giving Beast Wars the chance has been worth it. Um, so, uh, the next figure, and the next video we'll do in this, let's call it a series, is uh, Beboon, or Baboon, or something like that. He's a character I don't know. He's a toy I've never seen. It was... 13 quid, I think. This guy cost me 15, by the way, posted. Um, I think Baboon cost me 17 posted. He's not here yet. I haven't got him yet, but he will be here this week. 
Uh, I wanted to do that. So it's a toy. I it's a character I've got no association with, and just the purely on the the toy. And the last figure I'm going to try and pick up, and I never thought I'd do this, is a Optimus Primal. That's him. So the gorilla, the monkey, the one who I've really got a problem with. At the moment, a character that I like from Beast Wars, I can also love the toy. Uh, and I recommend this figure. They're relatively cheap. Pick one up if you can. Um, so I hope, let me know what you think about this series. I'm trying something new. Uh, I have bought these toys purely to give Beast Wars a chance and for you to experience that with me. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of Wasp and I. And let me know what you think of Beast Wars. Let me know if you think there should be another Transformers series I should give a chance. Um, to be honest with you, I've got I've got toys from the majority of the series. Um, but Beast Wars was the big gap. Um, and so far, after episode one, Wasp and I has converted me. I've been Zork Rider. Enjoy the rest of your week. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you again soon.